I'm out here today and I'm going to do a quick demonstration to show you just how quickly and easily it is to set up one of these awnings off the side of your full drive. Because I see it so many times when I go out camping that people they battle with these, they battle with the legs and the arms and really if you get into a routine with these and set them up exactly the same way every single time they become very very easy. So we'll get into it and I'll show you just how easy it is. Now the first thing these couple of zips, I always keep them right down the back of the awning here because when you're cruising down the highway, these will be jingling and carrying on so if you've got the two zips up in here, you'll be hearing that rattling going on where you go on the road so I keep it down the back and I don't hear anything, good thing and then underneath you've got the three straps that hold the awning in place inside the bag now always undo the two outside clips first and there's a very good reason for that. Undo those, because I've seen people before, they'll undo that one, then they'll undo the middle one, they get to the back one here, and what's going to happen? The awning falls out on them. So, undo the two outside ones first, and your awning's going to stay in place where it needs to be for the first push. Then reach under there, undo that. I roll him out a little bit, as far as there for now. Then I reach underneath, grab the two arms, throw them outside like so, and that's it. Roll him out. Then when I get to this stage, I keep the legs facing upwards, because if I go over one more roll, they're going to fall out on the ground, and that just makes it awkward. So I'll pull the first leg out. Now I've got a couple of indicator marks on my legs here, so I know that when I get to those marks, that I don't need to go any further, and I'm not going to pull the leg all the way out, out of its socket. So I'll lock it off at that mark there, stand that one up, First one done. Second one, I let him fall down on my arm like so. Same deal, I roll this leg out until I get some indicator mark, then I lock him off there. Stand him up there like that, while still holding this in place. And that's the first stage, done and dusted. The next bit's to put the arms in, side arms. So just come along here, reach out there, grab that one, in the hole, lock him off. Come over here, same deal. Grab that one, put it in, stretch it out, and lock him off. And that is as easy as it gets. And then from there, you've got your little Velcro straps under here. You've got six of these. Just pull those out. Wrap it on underneath. That keeps it nice and tight, so when you're camping under on at night time, if the wind picks up, you're not going to hear it flapping around. So it keeps it nice and firm. Do the other side as well, same thing. Pull the straps out and grip it all up, and that's it. Pretty much done and dusted. So I've got my marks there, and that's the awning's pretty much well and truly set up. And then from there, I'll grab my guy ropes out, and I'll show you a few tricks with those in case you're camping in where it's a rocky ground or the ground's hard, you can't get pegs in the ground. So I'll get my ropes out, and I'll show you the next stage from there. Right, I've got my couple of guy ropes. Now I take these off each time, I don't bother rolling them up inside the awning. They're just a bit bulky and just could make it a bit more awkward to roll it up and get the right size to get it back in the bag. So I just take them off and they're easy enough to put back on when I need to use them. So I just tie those back both sides. No fancy knots, just a couple of little knots there. And they're held nicely in place. Now I know all of us don't have rock sliders and rear bars like I do. There's certainly probably a few of you out there that do, or you might have a side step or something, but this is just really handy if I'm camping in an area where the ground's really hard and I can't get pegs in the ground, I hook it off from the car. So the first one goes on the back of the rear bar like so, like that. Second one, bring him around. He goes onto the front of the rock slider there like so. And that's that nice and sit up, ropes throughout the road, good access to get in and out from the front. But you really want to put the ropes on, especially if you're staying overnight, because if the wind gets up, these things do take off and they do bend and get quite damaged quite easily in strong winds. Always put your guy ropes on. And another little trick, and I've learnt this one the hard way, these straps here, the two straps, particularly the two that are above your two doors, make sure that when you do camp for the night, particularly if it's going to rain, Make sure these don't get shut inside your door like so. Now, I've only done this once and this is how I know 
because I camped at Sheep Yard flat a few years ago and I was under, under this awning here, had my swag all set out, it poured rain that night and I was nice and dry under here but the back door had the strip, had that in there like so overnight. Now this gets really really wet, can rain coming through there and then what it does, it runs through the strap, through the window and inside your car and when I got up the next morning inside around the back seat there was absolutely drenched because we've got to start to rain overnight so just make sure when you camp up for the night just tuck them up onto your roof or something like that out of the road they never leave them inside a closed door because you're going to wake up very more next morning it's a very very wet car so that pretty much covers that and that's how easy it is to set an oil up and to pack it up it's just the same way but in reverse well i hope that little tip helps you out and fair chance, I'll see you out in the bush someday with a simple setup. Show me how yawning goes. Good on you guys. We'll catch you later on. Yeah.